Let's work on a test case for an API. We're going to use the WooCommerce API and we're going to use Postman. So in this test case, what I'm trying to test is uh, on a customer's API or on a customer's data, there is a field called is paying customer and by default it is set to false. But if the customer creates an order, basically the customer buys something, then this should automatically change to true. So that's what we're trying to test here, making sure it works. So the test case is not for the customer API, it's actually the for order API. When the user places an order, that order API is supposed to update everything that's supposed to be updated. So that is the test. So first, I'd like to try, I'd like to start with a fresh, um, a fresh user for each test, right? So I'm gonna create a new user. So I'm just gonna make an API call. So if I was to automate this, this will be the steps that I will take. First, I'll create a user. Then I'll get the ID of the users that got created. It's 2856. Then I'm gonna do a fetch call, basically a get call to get the user. And I'm gonna search for paying customer and it is false. Now I'm gonna go and place an order using this user. So I already have that here, place order API created. When I look at the payload, there's all the payload is ready. Um, I'm just creating, I'm placing an order with one random product. So all I'm gonna change is the user. So I wanna create, a, uh, create an order with this user, right? So everything I can keep it the same. It is uh, set to pay because this is an order that is basically supposed to be paid uh, from a direct transfer. So I'm gonna make the API call, make sure I get a 201. So the order went through, we got created, we created the order. So now I'll go back to the customer and see if that field got updated because now the customer is a paying customer. The customer actually placed an order. So this API, the orders API should update the customer information. So this test is technically for the order API. So I'll go to the get customer. I already have the ID there. So I'm gonna make the fetch call. Remember before, before I make the call, is paying customer was false. Now I'm gonna make the API call, send it. Now is paying customer is true. So the API works, right? So that is the test. So if you were to test this manually, you will do exactly what I did right now. You place a new, a new customer, you make sure the paying customer is set to false because that's the default. Then you go place an order using that customer. You just use the API to place the order. Then you come back and you look at the data for the customer by doing a get call and make sure is paying is now updated to true. So that is a test case that you can practice on, right? So make sure you give me a follow. This is the kind of content I create, real automation, real testing, and real coding tutorials.